The Zone reportedly closing in on a groundbreaking broadcast deal that will see Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren under the same banner for the first time. Let's speak to Talk Sports uh, boxing pundit Gareth A. Davis, who joins us now. Hi, Gareth. Hi, gentlemen. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Talk to us about this. Could this effectively unify boxing in the UK uh, away from the ring? Yeah, it, it could. Um, I think I've got to go with what Frank Warren's saying at the moment, that he's still got a deal with TNT Sports, BT Sports as it was. It's been a long-term deal going back to the days of uh, Box Nation, of course, which yeah, is now right. moving again. Um, so at, at the moment, I think it could well be talks going on behind the scenes because the way the the landscape's moving with Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn, the potential of Anthony Joshua against Tyson Fury next year, um, I think that TNT Sports are going to want a little bit of Tyson Fury. Um, if that They've been with him for seven, eight years now. And I think if Tyson Fury ends up beating Alexander Usyk um, in the rematch in, in Saudi Arabia in December, they will want Fury and Joshua as part of their broadcast next year, which in the third... Uh, first third of, of next year, we're understanding uh, if, if both Joshua, of course, and Fury win. And best laid plans in, in boxing often don't come off it. We've learned to expect the unexpected. Frank Warren's been suitably cagey about it when asked in the last few, three or four days. And you can understand that because he's got this deal with TNT Sports. It's very solid. But you can see... Hearn and Warren coming together to work on certain events, maybe on the DAZN platform. And also there's a desire, I think, from the Saudi Arabians and His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh. And I'm just trying to put all these bits and pieces together where there's a desire from the Saudi Arabians to try and put boxing on one platform. Um, so I think all of it, Yes, it sounds plausible and possible, but I don't. I think they're a long way from signing this. Would it make fights easier to organise if it does all come together? Yeah, I think. I mean, to be honest, Alex, I think for the last year, fights have been easier to organise because the money's available. The 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 the, the ready shreddies are there, and 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 it always creates a change in timing, money, and ego. Um, this is if we'd had this. Six years ago, we would definitely have seen perhaps two fights between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, mm. a fight that's probably lost forever now. Um, the big fear is if 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 Tyson Fury loses to Alexander Usyk and his manager Spencer Brown was talking about this, Usyk is still a stu big stumbling block between us, the British public, and the boxing world getting what is the biggest fight we'll probably ever have seen in our lifetime, which is Anthony Joshua against Tyson Fury. But if he loses to you, sick, it may not happen. But that's why all these, that's why you're asking me the question about DAZN. That's why that story's out there, that because it makes sense um, for all of them to be under one banner at the moment. Uh, it's fascinating, isn't it? Because when you look at the heavyweight di division in particular, you know, AJ's been around for a very long time. Tyson Fury's just lost to, to Usyk. Wilder has had his issues. Chisora's disruption probably at the top, top end of uh, that, that division is, is over, really. Mm -hmm. Joe Joyce against Derek Chisora live on TalkSport this Saturday night. We'll talk about it in just a second. But what next in the heavyweight division? Does it need new blood to come to the fore to grab the general public's attention again and maybe have someone to come in and just disrupt those, those well-known fighters? Yeah, I mean, I think there are guys on the conveyor belt right now. I mean, he's a long way behind, but Johnny Fisher... Uh, was in the studio with us on Saturday night. He's gathering a following. A following is really important in the sport. Um, and heavyweight boxing is different to the rest. Frank Warren's young fighter, Moses Itauma, um, looks a fantastic prospect. Um, the, the weekend is important. Joe Joyce, has, yes, he's come back in March and beaten Cash Alley and looked, you know, he laboured to victory there a little bit. But after those two terrible defeats to Xi Lei Zhang, mm. um, in... In Los Angeles a week on Saturday, uh, Martin Bacoli challenges the best young American out there, Jared Anderson, in a really good heavyweight fight on the undercard of Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov, which is a massive card. Again, it's the first card, by the way, 
you may or may not know this, some of the listeners will. Um, that's the first Riyadh season card outside Saudi Arabia. Huge event in Los Angeles, albeit that reporting for us. And obviously, we've got the September event with Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. There's lots of movement in the heavyweight division right now. But what you're alluding to and pointing towards is that we are coming to the end of an era. Yeah. Wilder's just about done. Joshua's probably got two or three fights left. Fury, maybe two or three. Usyk and a couple of Joshua fights. We are, we have got new blood. There, there's, there's some um, Jalalov, the Olympic uh, champion, who's coming through. is a bit older, and, but is very, very strong. There's a group of fighters out there who are very decent, delicious. Ori, the super heavyweight, is just about to go to the Olympics. Already a Commonwealth uh, super heavyweight champion. There's names and faces out there. America's got Jared Anderson. We've got Moses Itauma. These are the guys that are looking to take over in the next few years. But I think what we've learned in the last year with the Saudi Arabian interest, and that's why, yes, it does make sense if DAZN has most of it or the three Sky, DAZN and uh, and TNT all have broadcast rights of the big fights. Um, it, it's important because these big fights need to cross over and get the fans back again. Yeah. Because I yeah. think fans had lost faith in in the heavyweights. And, and and I think it's changed. I think in the last 10 months, Sam, it, it's really changed. And you can pretty much pick your top 15 in the heavyweight division. What Joe Joyce has got to do on Saturday night is flatten Derek Chisora and, and, and put the optics out there that he's back and that he can move into that mix as well. He's 39 in September. Yeah, he is. And he's, uh, yeah, he's a great... And he was. I've spent a bit of time with him, and he's brilliant to interview. He's a softly spoken guy, but he's he's had a really had a really steep climb, didn't he, in the last couple of years? And then ran into Julie Zhang, and it all seems to come to a halt. Let's hope it gets better at the weekend. Live on Talksport, Gareth. Thank you very much. Got to end it there on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.